name is Blake Reeves, and I am an urban designer with Perkins & Will here in the company's Atlanta office. I went to Georgia Tech where I pursued a master's in urban design and city planning. Uh, while I'm proud of my city planning degree, it's actually my urban design degree that allowed me to attain this job, which is pretty much my dream job, if I can say that. The MSUD program at Georgia Tech is an extremely well-rounded program that allows students to learn not only the academic side of urban design, the classes in history and theory, but also the tangible, hands-on skills that are necessary for urban design today. Those are taught through studios that look at real-world problems and use these sort of tangible solutions um, to address them and to address real communities. And that type of learning has been extremely important for me in the job that I do every day here. While other MSUD alumni may use these videos to praise various aspects of the curriculum, I wanted to use this time to talk about my favorite part of the MSUD program, and that is the Modern Architecture, Modern Cities Study Abroad program. While it's actually an optional trip, I would say a large number of MSUD students, in fact, maybe even the majority, attend the trip every year. The nine-week study abroad program takes students to some of the best cities in Europe. Uh, it's usually around four to five cities that students visit, and it changes a little bit year to year, but in recent years, the trip has gone to London, Paris, Barcelona, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, and Berlin. So yeah, really all places that you want to visit. Um, while some other study abroad trips may take you, you know, halfway across the world to sit in a stuffy classroom, that is not at all the case with modern architectures, modern cities. In fact, while you're there, the city is your classroom. Students wake up every morning and take to the streets of these amazing cities to explore them and see what makes them special. Uh, every day as you were walking around, you're actually guided by Georgia Tech architecture and urban design uh, professors. Many of these professors, in fact, I think all of them have actually lived and worked in these cities. It's like having a super specialized tour guide that knows everything that you want to know about a city. Uh, in a given day, students wake up, they may walk, bike, or ride transit to get around the city, really experience the best of architecture and urban design in that city. Each stop along the way stimulates rich discussion about design theory, culture, history, um, prominent designers who are from that place, design, you know, emerging design trends that are present there, uh, and all the other things that shape the human built environment. So it's not about sightseeing, but it's really about learning what has shaped this place. Uh, as well, students are in each of these cities for roughly two weeks or so. So students start to really understand how to get around the city, um, how the people work, how the culture plays out, and they start to understand how all this design is tied to uh, the roots of this place. As an urban designer, these lessons are crucial to understand what it means to design the urban realm for real communities. And honestly, I just, I can't think of a better way to learn these lessons um, than to take part in this amazing trip. Um, not only does the group experience the city together in this way, but each student is also asked to complete an independent study. And what basically what that means is each student chooses a topic that is in, of interest to them and spends a significant time on the trip exploring on their own. As each student is allowed to choose his or her own topic, something that they are passionate about, the subject matter you know, tends to cover a broad range of material. Uh, in the year that I attended the trip, we had uh, people who were studying everything from the design of libraries, the design of public housing, uh, design of playgrounds, um, coffee shops, and a number of other elements sort of within the public realm. These unique investigations allow students to explore cities on their own time and find subject matter that excites and inspires them. Um, this is a part of the trip is sort of what blends the academic study abroad side with a little bit of the vacation side as students are allowed to see what they want to see and experience what they want to experience. But it's not all for fun because as all of this is kind of seen through uh, the lens of academic study. Um, so it's interesting to see people passionate about subject matter getting to explore that on their own time, but also learning a ton from it. Speaking of vacation, students are actually encouraged to travel and see other nearby cities and countries while they're over there. Uh, there is some downtime built into the trip, uh, like for example weekends or the travel time between places, and students really do go explore. I know on my trip, People went to um, uh, Hamburg and Prague and um, uh, Stockholm and a few other different interesting places. Uh, this is not all familiar to, especially 
uh, us Americans, but being in the heart of Europe, some of these destinations are a really quick train or plane ride away, and this time is sort of built in for students to explore it in this way. While all of this may sound very expensive, it can actually be very affordable for a lot of students. Um, as it is Georgia Tech's policy, all study uh, during all study abroad programs, out-of-state students actually pay in-state tuition. So that means for anyone who is an international student or someone who's not from Georgia, uh, you are allowed to pay much cheaper rates on this trip. So you can, you know, sort of factors different from person to person. But for me personally, the fact that I could go study abroad, be in Europe, pay these travel fees, and get 12 hours of, course, of courses actually cost almost the same as me taking those 12 hours in Atlanta. So this is actually pretty cool for a lot of people because many students come into the MSUD program and are excited to spend the bulk of the school year from August to May on campus in Atlanta experiencing um, this city. Uh, but also it makes for a cool opportunity that once May comes, you get to travel and head to Europe and finish the remainder of your course hours there. Lastly, I must add, and, and this is important, my excitement for this trip is not because it is some type of you know, glamorous vacation. Uh, instead, my excitement for the Modern Architecture Modern Cities trip is because it fundamentally changed the way that I saw cities, and I'm confident that everyone who goes on the trip will have a very similar, very special experience uh, in the way that I did. Um, this trip allowed me to see the way that urban design can honestly enrich the lives of people and enrich communities. And, and I can't imagine a way I would have learned that in such an immersive way. Um, as urban designers, it's so important that we are able to speak to successful precedent projects uh, in the places that we live and around the world, that we are aware of these emerging trends and that we um, are able to, to speak to what does and doesn't work. And uh, this trip allowed me to see that in an extremely important way. Um, and I'm so thankful for that. This trip exposed me to the best of the best of urban design, and that's something that has both prepared me for my current job, but also challenges me to raise the bar uh, on the urban design projects that I am working on day to day. I'm so thankful for Georgia Tech's top-notch urban design program, and I know that I derive so much of my success, both um, professionally and personally as well, um, from the time that I spent there at that program. So I hope you'll consider it as well.